Do you still carry a wallet that looks like this? I got something that might change your mind about that. What's going on everyone? Back with another episode of Stuff and Things. My name is Talon Sai, and if you know me, you know that I like things with a minimalist design. For the past few years, I've been carrying one specific type of wallet. I like the design, they hold up well, and I never really saw the need to switch to anything different. Recently, I came across something new that caught my eye, and it got me thinking. Since a lot of my videos are about giving my opinion on products and gear that you guys want to know about, I figured why not try something new? And that's exactly what I did. This is the Ridge Wallet. The Ridge is a modern, slim front pocket wallet. The main compartment is an expandable card holder that holds between 1 and 12 cards, and the back strap is for cash. On their site, they say the Ridge reevaluates your everyday carry and gets rid of the bulk. I've been carrying very minimalist wallets for a long time now, so the transition to this thing was pretty easy. This is their carbon fiber version, but they also come in aluminum, titanium, and polycarbonate, all at different price points. They also give you the option to choose between the style that I have with the cash strap or a more traditional style money clip. If you'd like to try them both, the entire wallet can be taken apart and you can switch out a cash strap for the money clip. I've been using and testing this for about a month now and I have to say I'm pretty impressed with it. Initially, the function of the wallet kind of threw me off a little bit, but with all the different uniquely designed wallets that I've been using, I figured out how to make it work. If you've ever used a minimalist wallet with a funky design, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So first, let's talk about the construction of this thing. This model that I have is obviously the carbon fiber version. It consists of two RFID blocking aluminum plates with a couple of torque screws holding on the outer carbon fiber fiber layers. It uses a replaceable elastic band which allows it to function, and overall it's a pretty sleek design. So the way I use this thing, I don't have it maxed out to its full capacity of 12 cards. I have about 5 cards in here, about 3 bills, and then a business card in the back as well which I'll get to in a little bit. One off topic note about the cards, which isn't going to be the same for everyone, but the card that I have in the front here, my name shows up perfectly through the little hole. I'm actually going to take that card out now because you guys don't need to see that. So the way this works is pretty simple. Holding the wallet right like this, I take my thumb and pointer finger and just slide the cards up evenly. What that allows you to do is to easily remove the top card, make a transaction, and then slide them back into place. Now if you want to get a card from the middle or the back, you push the cards up the same way. And then you simply squeeze the bottom and it kind of fans out your cards like this so you can pick whichever one you want. Say I want the card in the middle, alright, pull that out. Slip it right back in. For the cash, like I said, I have three bills here. They're folded twice, and they just slip under the back strap. The inside of the strap has these little rubber feet on it, which keeps your money from slipping out. Now, because this thing is designed to be the exact same size as a plastic card, business cards don't fit in here. A simple solution for that is to just take a business card and trim a little bit off of each side. I only carry one of these because, to be honest, I don't hand them out very often. A lot of wallets claim to be RFID blocking. I tested this one and it works really well. On two different occasions in the past month, I've stayed at hotels that give you RFID cards to get into your room. This thing's got plenty of room. You don't have to do anything to adjust it, so I just slip the card right in the front. I would make it up to my room with the door key right in the front of the wallet, hold it up to the door, and it wouldn't open. That's about the extent of the RFID testing that I could do on it, so it worked pretty well. This wallet is a good bridge between minimal and functional because it holds everything you need, but nothing that you don't. Now let's talk about pricing. This is where everyone seems to lose their cool. The polycarbonate version starts at $45. You could bump up to the aluminum for $65. Or you can go all out with the titanium or carbon fiber, and these will run you $105. I myself have spent over $100 for a wallet in the past, and at first I wasn't sure if this was going to be worth it. Now after using it for a solid month, I actually have no problem with their pricing at all. If you like the design but you're not ready to spend that much money, then go with the polycarbonate. Or if you appreciate the finer things in life like titanium or carbon fiber, then I definitely recommend picking something like this up. Think about it, a wallet is something that you carry and use every single day, so why wouldn't you want premium materials? Oh, and one more thing, all these wallets are back with a lifetime warranty. So if you're interested in checking out all the different colors, styles, and options that Ridge offers, I will of course leave a link to their website down in the description below. And now for the good part, this one is for the loyal subscribers who stayed to the end of all my videos. Videos. Ridge was nice enough to send me this wallet for review, and now they're sending me another one to give away to one of you guys. There is a brand new gunmetal aluminum Ridge wallet with a money clip on its way to me right now. If you want a shot at winning that, there's three things that you have to do. One, be subscribed to my channel. Two, follow both myself and Ridge on Instagram, and I will leave links to both of our profiles down below. And three, once the aluminum wallet gets here, I'm going to snap a picture of it and put it on my Instagram. You're going to have to find that photo, leave a like on it, and tag one of your friends in the comments. So it's as simple as that. I'll give you guys about two weeks from the day that I post that picture to find it, like it, and to tag a friend in the comments. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them down below. It would also be cool if you could leave a like on this video for Ridge for allowing me to do this giveaway. If you're new to this channel, consider clicking subscribe. I make new videos every week, and that's going to be it for today. As always, thank you guys for watching, and I'll talk to you in the next one.